How's it going? What's up? It's me, Justin. I'm going to open one of these and see if I can get luckier than Ken did uh, the other night uh, with his bright climb. I th I'm thinking we can do something better because why not? I'm going to try and do his fancy opening. Oh, it worked. Okay. All right. Maybe he knows what he's talking about. Okay. All right. How does this... Oh, it slides out. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right. So I got that deck box. Show you that beauty again. I love the runic um, text and stuff on it. That's pretty That's pretty cool. Oh, so he got a white dice. We got a red dice with that sick axe. I actually like the red dice way better. It's got some black speckles in it, so that's pretty cool. And then we'll set that over the side there. Got a little Kaldheim promo stuff. And then we've got that arena code. If you want to enter that in, you'll get some cool stuff on arena if you're playing online. Wish you luck there. And then we get a gold span dragon for our promo. You can see that date on there, which is cool. A stamp date. Tax target of the spell. Create a treasure token. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can sacrifice that two mana of any color and then have the token. That's pretty cool. I'll set them up there, make them look nice and pretty. And we've got our divider, and we've got our packs. Now, we got to pull better than Ken, so everybody watching this, I don't know, Heart of the Cards or something like that, I have no idea. Magic never had a television show, so there's no saying there. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Got to catch them all? I don't know. <laughs> all right. So we've seen quite a bit of the common, so I'll go through these guys fairly uh, quickly here for you. So we've got Store Seeker, Strategic, God's Hall Guardian. The artwork in this set is really cool. Like, Comus Faithful, like, just look at that artwork. It's beautiful. When I go for cards and stuff, I go for cool art, which is why, like, the cheaper Godzilla cards are, like, really cool to me. <laughs> A funeral longbow, that's really cool. He was mentioning too the sides and stuff, and like I can really see it up close here now because I was I was beside him, but uh, you can really see them up close now. Like they've got like the on this one here, they have uh, like wood with <clears throat> like the metal fasteners and stuff, and it looks really really good. Right, Sculptor Winter, you know, Dual Strike, and Sorcery Spell Mana Cost for less you turn copy that spell. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can just copy and essentially spell twice got a legendary wizard he's cool look at him it's like he's supposed to be a dwarf but he's massive <laughs> giant, dwarf. <laughs> giant dwarf that makes so much sense giant wizard oh and cole the forge master look at that oh, that's, beautiful. that's gorgeous i love what they did with colored pillars too to do the half card right? yeah it's funny because, like, they've got, you can see, like, guys on the outside here, like, looking out. It kind of looks like the Star Wars poster. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty sick, though. That is really cool. Don't tell Ken I'm keeping that. <laughs> Hinge Gate Pathway uh, with Mist Gate Pathway. So not the um, extended art that he pulled on this first pack, but we also got the duel on, uh, on our first pack. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. And then Snowfield Sinkhole. And then their advertisement. All right, that was pretty good first pack. Really cool art uh, with Cole there, and then we got another duel with the pathways there going on. So that's pretty sweet. Quite happy with that. We still need to find something to beat Ken though. All right, Armbringer, extra cavalry, Dread Rider. That's really cool. That purple on the horse and stuff reminds me of. Um, Nazgul's quite a bit, which is cool. Nice side troll, Death Knell Berserker. Oh, he stole the Mythic Axe, god dang it. Another Vault Robber, pulled plenty of those. And Iron Vertex, well, again. Dogged Pursuit. Oh, we've got a Saga. I don't think we had this one yet. Vicious Return. Sacrifice a creature, deals three damage to any target. When you do that, each player discards a card. And then you return the target creature card from your grave to your battle and put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. And it gains haste until the next turn. So that's pretty cool. You're essentially doing 3 damage 
Uh, you do have to discard a card, but they also do too, and then you get your thing back with a 1-1. One, one. So that's actually pretty good. Inga Rune. Yeah, Rune's Crown. Honestly, I thought the artwork would be better on that one. Not that it's not good or anything, but... Toski, Bear of Secrets. Volatile Fjord. And we got a Foil, Fearless Pup. He's adorable, look at him. Oh, and we got a token Demon Berserker. His smile is just really creepy. <laughs> he is not, you're not going to have a good day saying hi to him. My God. All right. Oops. Getting rusty opening these packs. All right. Cinder Giant. Doomscar Oracle. There's a Doomscar card in here, too. That's like a rare or mythic, and I really want. It looked really cool. Grim Draugr. Recluse. Jarl the Forsaken. I thought there'd be more Jarl cards. And, you know, considering Kaldheim is a, you know, Nordic. I got Draugr. There we go. Invoke the Divine. Dwarven Reinforcement. There's the Dwarves. A Null. Or, you know, another word for that is <laughs> Negate. But okay. Battership Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> Immerstrom's skull card. Wow, I just had a stroke there. That's pretty cool. Cool land there. Oh, another saga. Nico defies destiny. You gain two life for each foretold card you own in exile. You add mana. Spend this mana only to foretell cards. You cast spells that have foretell. So you have to have a specific kind of um, build with this with the foretell cards, but it's still really cool. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, we got a mythic here. Got class. Yeah, monstrous raider. It looks like something from um, Kong Skull Island. Yeah. <laughs> There's he's, a lot of. Uh, so he's got trample and haste. A lot of controversy around that card when they spoiled it because everybody's like, "Why is there Phyrexia and stuff?" Yeah, right. <laughs> kind of odd. <laughs> Hey, let's make a Nordic thing and put Phyrexians in there. Genius. <laughs> that's pretty cool, though. I actually pulled Mythic. He's going to sit up there because that's pretty sweet. And we got a Snow Covered Forest and Tyvar Kel emblem, which is cool. Cast an Elf spell. And you get haste until the end of the turn and draw two cards. That's not bad. All right. Still got three packs here. I'm more of a talker than Ken. That's just how I do. You don't like it? I'm sorry. <laughs> and Mr. Raider, Oracle again, Harbinger of Death, Snakeskin stuff, our awesome Nazgul, an Infernal Pet, Chewing on a Fairy, Mistwalker, that's got some weird blue going on, Shimmer Drift Veil, Stalwart Valkyrie, Dusk Wielder, oh, there we go, Port of Carfell. The land. I'm gonna lift up a little bit here. Cool. There we go. Mm -hmm. Maja or Maha, depending on how they want to pronounce it. Bodyguard Protector. Awesome art, just right in the middle of battle and stuff. Honestly, they could release like posters of these and people would buy them. I'd buy them. Avalanche Caller. Target snow land you control. Become a 4 or 4 elemental creature with hexproof and haste until the end of the turn. And it's still a land. It's only two mana. Yeah, it's only two mana. Huh. Hmm. Maskwood Nexus. Creatures you control. Every creature type. Oh, okay, so it just changes stuff. Neat. And yeah, snow-covered mountain. And one of these cards for your, your doubles. Your flip land stuff. Is that what they call them, flip lands? Yeah, yeah. Double sides. Double sides. Like that. Like the, uh, I assume that's the most popular, useful, most of the flip yeah. land stuff. Yeah. The, uh, the old style cards were called checklist cards because it had a list of oh. the cards that could have been in the set from the flip. Mm, okay. And these ones, they have a specific kind of dual side, so they have two spots for you to write the names of the cards on the top of the that's cool. card game. Oh, huh, that's interesting. I mean, that's cool, though. It's good that they have that. Resident Seeker, way down. Coach Cleric. 
Bound in gold. Oh, there you go. Poor guy. What a way to go. <laughs> Rich, but dead. <laughs> we got Boreal Outrider. Cast a creature spell. Yeah, it spells colors with spent cast. The creature enters the battlefield with additional 1 1. Hmm. Yeah, it's one of the uncommon elves that people were saying to watch, it and watch out for and see if it was yeah. useful in, uh, hmm. in any decks. Cause, uh, Could be. Yeah. There are a lot of elf decks out there. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they find some pretty good use for that guy there. Invasion of Giants. So we scry two, draw a card, you may reveal a giant card from your hand. When you do, Invasion of the Giants deals two damage to target opponent or planeswalker. And the next giant spell you cast this turn costs two less to cast. So it's not bad. If you have like a giant deck, mm -hmm. it's not too bad. Colossal Plow. <laughs> Love it. Great. Beautiful name. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you could tell they were just like, this is the, okay, guys, we need one more card for this set. What are we going to do? I'm missing one. <laughs> yeah. Name something you don't see every day. Yeah. Plows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're done. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, another, another saga. Uh, create a 4-4 white angel warrior creature token with flying and vigilance. Uh, until the end of turn, angels you control gain something. Uh, destroy a target creature with power less than the creature's power. And then angels you control gain double strike. At the end, so that's pretty cool for the angel decks. Actually, uh, there's a couple people actually I think I might benefit from that. Alpine Meadow, Snowland Mountain Plains. We've got Reckless Crew. Yeah, nice. full area. yeah, not bad. They certainly look reckless and look like they have been drinking more than I have. Replicated Ring. Add one mana of any color. That's cool. Cool. All right, last pack of Destiny here. We've pulled a mythic, so that's not bad. And the foil rare, which is also not bad. No extended art, but maybe we'll get into this. Maybe we'll get something crazy. Foil mythic. Uh, Alright, Tormentor's Helm. Axe Herod Braggart. Another Pilfering Hawk. King Harald's Revenge. I think we've seen pretty much all the commons by now. Outlawed Recluse. Arachniform, chant creature, chant gets 2-2, two, two, has reach, is every creature type, that's pretty good. Goldwing pick, that looks like a warhammer, that does not look like a pickaxe, but hey, <laughs> who am I to say anything, I've just played MMOs my entire life. <laughs> Demon Bolts, <laughs> Crush the Weak, Gates of Istfel, that's a pretty cool card with the Aurora. That would be a cool foil, that would be a sick foil, just saying, just for the art alone. Weathered Runestone. It's quite the sphere. Crippling Fear for a rare here. They certainly look like something is coming to. Oh, there's, I see what it is in the back. You can see the shadow. That's pretty cool. Like a demon. And a snow covered mountain. And then the gold vein pick again. That is totally not a pick, but foil this time. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The gold shine's really neat with your Warhammer. And yeah, Zombie Berserker. Cool. Sweet. Not too bad. If you want your pre-release pack or you want a big box or you want some packs or you want some cool stuff, come down to Orchard City. Uh, I'm here all weekend and you can come and say hi. And I mean, we're not open on the weekend, but I'm not here. So, you know, come in the weekend. Okay. <laughs> Good luck on your pulls, everybody that gets them. And I will see you at some point whenever Ken lets me have the camera again. Bye.